Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on December the 19th. I think this is a great reading as we are in the last week of Christmas and that final week of the hustle and bustle and all the doing that distracts us from nurturing the being. And he says, gosh, the amount of time, again, our energy is our greatest resource. Time is limited and time is also a form of perspective, I think. And it can be something that is just meaningless and filled with despair. And time can be incredibly intentional about allowing for the unfolding of his plan and his purposes. So time can be evolutionary, rolling toward his plan. Time can also be reviewed as something of despair that is just incredibly repetitive but our chores, these things will eat up our mind. They will eat up our energy. The amount of space we give to them, they will fully fill. So he says, give them just a certain amount of time and space and then let them drift to the background of your mind so that I can then again come to the forefront of your awareness. Being weighed down, down into the culture. When our mind is on default, it is going to drift and wander and allow all of this clutter and clamor to continue. So we need to be intentional with our focus and remember to kind of get through those chores, get through the to-do, so then we can focus on nurturing the being that is within us. Let my presence bring order to your thoughts. But that is not going to happen by default. We're going to have to be intentional about setting that to-do. Being weighed down where our focus is, our energy flows where our attention goes. So being mindful of where that focus is and it will eat up as much time. He wants to be in the forefront. This week, as we go through these readings, we're going to realize that he really wants to be entwined, entangled, interwoven into every activity of our day. The first reading is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. In the small things, in the big things, the important thing is including him, bringing him into all of the things. Commit to the Lord whatever you do. Success is about our relationship with our Heavenly Father, the right alignment. The next reading is Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This is about being intentional and having order and not living by default. Living by default is going to be everything below that lifeline and quadrant living. We're just going to kind of wander and get pulled into so many different directions. But here it says, seek first the kingdom. As we start this day, seek first and his righteousness, that which is right, being in alignment with him. And then it says, and these things will be given to you. Other things will fall into place. The things that really matter, the fruits of the spirit will fall in when we align ourselves with his intention and his direction. The next reading is Psalm chapter 27, verse eight. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. And that to me, you all, is about being obedient to our creator, that the creation should be obedient and mindful of the creator, that there's an order to these things and we get to choose. His desire ever since the fall is for us in our human form to get back into right relationship as he designed with Adam and Eve. So he says, seek my face and in our heart, in our soul, in our spirit, when we are in right relationship, we say, Yes, Lord, your face I will seek. The final reading is Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. And to me, this was like a little math formula. Trust plus a mind that is stayed, a mindset. Trust plus the right mindset equals perfect peace. So may peace be our guide today. May we kind of get through our little chores, bring him into each and every one of those moments, set the intention to seek his face, to see a miracle, and be uh, in right arrangement, right alignment, right order with our Creator and our Savior, and allow these blessings, the fruits of the Spirit, just to flow freely toward each and every one of us. So y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.